because let me get to how we collude with the with our life force energy getting drained all right now i talked a lot about i talked a lot about letting go of who you think you are right this is part of the waking journey really truly in a very deep way being able to let go of who you think you are because who you think you are is not real who you think you are is a result of your ancestral programming your cultural programming your conditioning your pains your traumas okay it's who you who you think you are is who you think you are is is a result of all the evidence you have to validate why you think certain things our experiences our evidence validating beliefs conclusions all these things that are not the truth and that's because the matrix set up that way they you know like you have to you have to have a job to make money right that's a program um, now that program varies depending on what kind of social class you're in but it's still a program right um, I know people that you know they weren't born wealthy actually many of those immortals okay so there were five immortals that have come on my path altogether and uh, Elmine, for example, she just does what she wants, is wakes, wakes up humans, does workshops. She gets invited to go all over the world to do these things. And, that's, and she writes. And she loves, she's written like 38 books or something like this. You know, some of the most shamanic imagery um, art that we've ever seen actually come, or comes from the artist that has donated their art to be the covers of, um, on all these books she has. So, uh, you know, this is... A life of grace that we're looking at when we look at look at what she's doing and there's there's more there's other people uh, there okay so one <clears throat> all right so one of them was a Taoist master also met in Thailand and they played music played played music and people would just invite them places and they played music that was what they wanted to do that's what they you know that was what what um, gave him his joy his his opportunity to express his love and who he really is and all this stuff you know and uh and that's and that's how he did he didn't own a car didn't have money you know didn't even have a bag man to hold his money he just clothes on his back and the instruments in his bag you know that was all this this guy had you know um on a material level but on a spiritual level he was a master an immortal master so we can do these things we just have to get out of these programs another um oh gosh i have so many examples of how we give things away all right over a couple summers ago i was um in ohio talking with an old friend and we were noticing all these different couples that were coming into the restaurant that we're at i think it was the restaurant yeah 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 it was like a restaurant bar kind of thing and uh and you and what we noticed is that the people who were like coupled for a long period of time one one end of the couple was absolutely vibrant and gorgeous whether it be the man or the woman you know really put together and and looked happy you know and their spouse was noticeably aged a lot older okay like gray hair wrinkled maybe overweight maybe you know what i mean just didn't look happy but at the same time you know i mean we're looking at the energetics of this but at the same time they're together and that's because you know their dynamic is one person is uplifted and living quite literally being uplifted and living off of the energy of the other and the other the one who's giving their energy away and this is a um a a, a overall pattern that I'm talking about I'm sure they all have their very personal stories of the whys and all this stuff I'm just talking about the over the overall energetic pattern of this um, but the person that's lovingly fully you know giving their life force energy away thinks that that's what love is that if I love this person I will give them everything I got to give you know and actually I was in that program for a very long time and, and really what that is that's extortive love you know and one always has to pay the price and this happens over and over again so just notice and you're when you're out you know summer's here we're outside a lot just notice these couples 
I mean, granted, there are those couples where you have a really older, you know, someone who's much older than their spouse. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about when they, you know, on a long term level been together and uh, and there's a disparage in, in the health and vibrancy between them. You know, there's that kind of thing. Getting to the other the other piece here. Uh, so the ways we buy into the who we think we are program, you know, and you know you're in it when you know you're in it because like say someone offends you and you're often real, they don't know who I am, and I'm this and I'm that. So that's all the who you think you are program. If you can just really be um, vulnerable and accepting of what was said, you can see more clearly that they their statement might have been in words directed at you but really it's about them what they just said it's about them what they're expressing you know and you can let everybody off the hook in, in that case again freedom so <clears throat> another um thing i want to say about this is hold on a second i just got i just got pushed hold on a second i just totally got pushed out of my groove what happened with that? The who you think you are. So what kinds of things liberate us? What kinds of things allow us to walk the path, so to speak? I already mentioned love, freeing your love, being free to love whomever and however you want to love in the way that you want to love. I already mentioned that. Okay. Um, how you view this world. If you believe this is a slave planet and everything's really heavy and I don't want to be here anymore, I'm never going to return here. You know, if you're in that heaviness, right, you, you're, you're still enslaved to the who you think you are program. But if you are gearing your efforts to liberating your love, being honest, with yourself accepting the truth that is inside of yourself okay big one right there committed to expressing yourself as authentically as you know how in any given moment that's that's number three and number four is your creativity creating using your creativity to bring beauty into this reality 